We're out here in our shortcut uh, bent grass uh, range and, and before we've uh, had the mowing occur, what I want to show you is a classic cutworm uh, burrow and, and here you can see cutworm larva is probably in here somewhere. It comes out at nighttime on both sides of that. You can see where it's eating the turf down. The problem is is that if you roll a ball across this, it's going to hit this little depression and, and go somewhere else. You're going to have an upset uh, golfer in that uh, particular case. Now we've moved to a different spot over here on our shortcut uh, bent grass. You can see down here what looks like a, a, probably a cutworm pockmark, but then there's a few other areas over here. It's just sort of a little what I call general funkiness. Uh, the ball roll is going to occur pretty well on, on those particular areas, but this is very typical of what we see with the sod webworm activity. And the only way that we can determine whether we've got cutworms or sod webworms in here is do that soap flush. Now we're going to use that uh, detergent water that uh, we mixed up a little while ago. There appear to be what I visualize here are some uh, uh, maybe small cutworms and some sod webworms. So we're just going to put this uh, soapy water or detergent water over this area. Just sort of let it soak in and I'm going to try to cover about a one square yard area. Typically, if, if you've got cutworms, the cutworms come up almost immediately, uh, usually within a minute or two. If they're sod webworms, they often take maybe 10 to 15 minutes to come up from that soap solution. They're down in their little burrows that are uh, lined with webbing, and so it takes them a little bit longer to come up. What I often do is after I flush this area, I take some T's and mark the corners of it. I can go do something else for 10, 15 minutes, come back and take a look at the caterpillars that have surfaced. Uh, this detergent solution will bring up all kinds of things. Uh, though we're looking for caterpillars, uh, it will bring up the, the little adults of the black turfgrass atenius. Uh, that's this little rascal right here. Now, obviously, we don't have very many of them in here. We've uh, done soap flushes where we've uh, literally gotten hundreds of them coming up, uh, and that would be of concern to us. We're uh, just now, we're about five minutes into this, and you can see a, a little sod webworm head sticking up right here. Now, I'm going to try to grab it, because if, if you're not careful with this, they'll go back down. Yeah, there, I got it. Uh, and here's the, the little caterpillar. Uh, sod webworm caterpillars uh, typically have brown head capsules, uh, and the body has these little rows of spots uh, down them. In this case, they're just like tan spots. Now, again, this is the first one out. Uh, we would take a look at this for another uh, 10, 15 minutes. And normally, if we get only one or two, that's probably not a big problem. Uh, but it, we've often gotten uh, anywhere from 15 to 20 out of a square yard area, and that probably warrants a treatment. Sometimes we get uh, earthworms uh, coming up also. It's, it's a pretty good way to, to monitor if you've got many earthworms in the location. This is just a little tiny rascal, but uh, they push up castings also. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> There's your snake. <laughs> and here's a little one right over here. This is probably a third instar, and this is probably a fifth or sixth instar black cutworm. Now each of you are probably going to have to determine how many cutworms or sod webworms you can allow on your, on your greens. Our normal recommendation, five or six of these cutworm spots on a green is probably enough to, to do a treatment. If you see uh, maybe five or six uh, sod webworms in a square yard, that's probably also uh, going to require treatment. For quick remedial treatments, uh, any of the pyrethroids. Uh, most people are using bifenthrin, but any of the other pyrethroids would also work very well. If you are having problems with this every year, you can take a preventive approach by using a celeprin very early in the season. And if you use the higher rates of a celeprin, you can get season-long caterpillar control on your greens and teas.